I mean, come on. This is, this is so cute. Y'all ever just sit on the floor with your dog? Who else is ready for like pants season? <laughs> Who else is sick of chafing? All right, let's go show my mom's new apartment. <laughs> yes. Am I ready for my M-A-N? Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We are starting the vlog not in the kitchen, which is shocking. So my original plan, I was actually gonna be filming like a try on haul video today, but I was just going through everything and like half of it is way too small. So we're just gonna throw in a little mini try on portion at the beginning of this vlog because fall fashion is my jam and I'm always looking for like new it's like fuzzies in the air. I'm always looking for new plus size friendly like stores or boutiques. So I've seen this one come up on my like for you page in my Instagram timeline a few times. It's called Pink Lily. Let me know if you guys have tried them before, but they had some really, really cute plus size uh, stuff. And I really appreciate it. A lot of their items were like straight size and plus size available, but they had a sale the other day. So I ordered a bunch because fall it's sweaters. They had so many cute sweaters. Oh, so cute. So let me show you guys what does fit if you're looking for some cute plus size um, fall pieces. It's not like a whole lot and I'll link it all down below. But first I have this sweater. Let me lower you. I just threw on some jeans so you could like see it in the full effect. Um, I love this. So this one's more oversized. I also like didn't know how it ran because I've never ordered from here before. I have all different sizes from different plus size stores in my closet because everything just runs so different. I have jeans in a 16. I have jeans in a 20. It's all over the place. So first is this kind of oversized um, sweater here. I got this in the 3X. The 2X definitely would have sufficed, but I didn't know. Cause some of the stuff that I got that I'm not gonna show you, I got the 3X cause like, I don't know, boutiques sometimes run small and it looks like an XL. So <laughs> this is what I got and how it fits. So here's the 3X, it is so cute. I love the little pocket. I think they had other striped colors as well, but I think this would look so cute with like leggings and some Uggs or if you wanna give it some shape and just do like a little tuck in the front. I love the neutral colors of this and it's kind of airy too. So it's great for like summer to fall. It's like a little bit more breathable than like a thick sweater. Okay, so this is the first thing that I got. Okay, this color block sweater. This one I got in a 2X and it's also very oversized. So take with that what you will. But this one is so cute. It's like a little mini turtleneck and then the back is like a different color purple. And it's got kind of like a bat wing effect. I mean, come on, this is, this is so cute. I love this. I've never seen anything like this. They had a lot of sweaters that were like items I've never seen before. So, so cute. I just love this. Why do I love this so much? And also if you have a double chin like me, don't be afraid to wear the turtleneck. I know I used to go through that, screw it. Okay, this one's in the 3X. Definitely would have got the 2X, but like I'm fine with it being, um, Oversized, I think it's so, so cute. I love the pink and brown. And then the cool thing is like each stripe has checkered, like every other one has checkered in it. So it's like, it's just kind of different. It's just ugh, a cute oversized sweater with jeans and your Uggs. It's just like the vibe. So here's this one. So, so freaking cute. Okay, then we've got this cute little crop shacket here. This sits perfectly with a pair of high-waisted jeans. This one has no stretch. This one's in the 3X and it fits perfectly. So cute, I love the colors. Just like perfect for fall. Like you just wanna wear this to the pumpkin patch. But I do love these kind of like cropped ones that just, I feel like they're a little more flattering than the super oversized ones if you wanna wear them with jeans. Like the long ones with leggings are a vibe, but I don't know, I like when it kinda just goes right to the high waist of your pants. Okay, then this cardigan. I will say the quality of all these are really good. This is like so thick and luxurious. They had a different color. I think it was brown that I was contemplating between. This is so cute. This one's the 2X and I just think it is so freaking pretty. I love a good cardigan and I love checkered stuff right now, like decor clothes. Just here for checkers. <laughs> so soft, like the quality of this one is really just amazing. And it has a little bit of a balloon sleeve. Okay, I also do love a good puffer vest and this one's really cute. It's like a beige corduroy. This with Uggs would also be a vibe. I think I would do a long sleeve shirt. It looks a little weird with a short sleeve, 
but I got this one in the 3x and it like just fits I wear it open anyway but like be warned on this one runs a little bit small just like that cropped jacket I feel like the stretchy or oversized sweaters run a little bit big and then these run more small so but regardless really cute just like a perfect fall staple oh my gosh I love this one too with like the long flowy sleeves the perfect crop length and then all these different patterns wow I love this this one is in the 3x as well but perfect with a pair of high-waisted jeans I love like a big flowy sleeve sometimes and I love the beige and the white this is this is so me this might be my favorite well now I'm sweaty filming sweaters when it's like 80 degrees outside and this ring light but they're all so cute I can't wait for the weather to like really cool down and feel like fall I'm like waiting for it to feel like fall so on the agenda today I am mostly just getting work done I have some editing to do and some stuff to do on the computer I was gonna make Dominican food for dinner last night but we were ended up being like a little bit too full so we had something lighter so I'm gonna make Dominican food tonight we can cook that together and just spend the day so I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna have to bring the returns from this that did not fit to be returned so we'll pack that up Okay, so I have just been doing work on my computer in the kitchen. I've been back sitting at the kitchen island. I was at the desk for a while, but I'm back at the island. I changed into this shirt. One of you guys DM me on Instagram and sent this to me and they're like, you need this. And I'm like, thank you for sending it. I bought it immediately. It was, I think American Eagle or Airy, but you guys know me and my family, we love peanuts. So had to grab it. Hopefully they still have some good sizes left, but I will link it. So today is actually the Apple event and Yara and I always watch them together. So I'm curious to see if this new iPhone is actually gonna be different. I'm just saying Apple, can you guys please make the front camera better? <laughs> Hi baby. Y'all ever just sit on the floor with your dog? Big stretch. Who's mama's good boy? Oh, I love you. I love you. He still smells so good from getting groomed a few days ago. You smell very good. You smell so good. Yes, I love you. You're just a little baby. You're just a little baby. So anyway, we are going to watch the Apple event. And I think I'm actually going to make... <laughs> I'm on the floor now. I think I'm going to make that, um, hey, that salmon bowl from my last vlog um with the pack packet of salmon because <laughs> i have another one and it's very good and it keeps me full yes it's just me and my dog <laughs> hello kisses thank you for the kisses thank you so much i saw a tiktok <laughs> it cracked me up so hard it was just like do you ever talk to your dog like this and she was talking to her dog just being like you're just a little baby you're so small you're just a baby and you, you just are there and you're little and you're small and you're just a little baby. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am taking Bruno for a walk. I took off my makeup. You guys, I am so thrilled with my skin. I'm just gonna hold the camera like this so you can't see where I am. I'm so thrilled with my skin. And I'm just so excited that I found something that's working for me right now, like this Skin Medica stuff has just been like a game changer. Don't worry, I did put on sunscreen. I brought sunglasses, but in the shade, the parts I'm mostly walking in, it's so nice. It's like in the 70s, it's a little humid, but like compared to like the 80s and 90s, it's just so much better. So Yara and I watched the Apple event. It doesn't seem like the iPhones are that new, but I have been contemplating switching to the Max for a better battery life because like my battery dies so quickly. Like I'll literally, before noon, I'm at like 50%. So I don't really know. I think it's just because I'm on my phone like a lot with work. I don't know. I work a lot on my phone. Come on, Bruni. I do try to let Bruno sniff as much as I can because I know that's how he has fun. And Yara was thinking about switching to the Max too because I use the MagSafe pop socket now. So I feel like, like it just felt really big before, but with the pop socket, it doesn't really feel like too big, you know? So I might try that, but I was really impressed by how much more um, 
environmentally friendly Apple is becoming. I think that's amazing. Like they're setting the tone for all these big companies, which is really cool. But I'm not super educated on any of it. But I think from what I saw, it sounds like they're doing good stuff. It feels so good. I have on yoga pants right now. My thighs. <laughs> so much chub rub cream this summer. Um, who else is ready for like pants season? <laughs> who else is sick of chafing? <laughs> I mean, using my chub rub cream or Mega Babe, it helps a lot. But like, I'm just ready for pants. <laughs> this is Bruno's favorite little alley. <laughs> it's a guy on his phone. It's okay. Come in. He's just on his phone. You want to sniff? You want to sniff these pine trees? Many hours later. All right, y'all, it is cooking time, and I even arranged my cut produce in a beautiful way for you. So I'm going to start by cooking um, the beans that are going to go on our rice later. So I will link the recipe I'm using. It's from dominicancooking.com, so I just follow that. So I cut up one bell pepper, two cloves of fresh garlic, y'all, cut up, half a teaspoon of oregano. I cut into quarters this onion, and then there's this squash here that I don't know how to pronounce, but it is on the recipe. Now, before we turn on the stove, I'm gonna add a cup of tomato sauce. But we're gonna cook this mixture up for a couple of minutes. Yara's grandma always prepares the beans like earlier on and just lets them simmer and they just get so flavorful. So I'm not saying these are as good as his grandma's, but <laughs> they are very good. Now I'm gonna add in two cans of rinsed pinto beans. All right, we're gonna cook this for a couple of minutes. Okay, now that we've got this giving a little simmer, I'm gonna add in some water. We're gonna do four cups all together. This is much more of like a liquidy consistency that you pour over your rice. And we're gonna let this simmer. And I'm gonna also season with one and a half teaspoons of salt. And this will thicken up and cook everything down. I personally have the soap cilantro gene, as you guys probably know, um, but I will add cilantro to my husband's at the end. All right, you guys, this has been simmering for a while now, so it should be tender enough to give a little masheroo to the beans in here. And then as well, I have the steak marinating in here in like thin strips. It's just like a beef round, top beef round, I think. Um, thin strips of red onion, Worcestershire, lime juice, salt, pepper, lime juice. Did I already say lime juice? Maybe. Um, <laughs> and oregano. So I let this just marinate on the counter while I let the beans simmer. And then I have some brown rice going on the stove. All right, you guys, our rice is done. So now I'm just going to take with tongs and I'm gonna cook the meat first and then add the onions at the end. I don't really like onions like that, but um, I kind of separate them for yar, but the flavor of this meat is absolutely unmatched. You guys have to try this. And because they're in thin slices, they're really quick to cook on each side. Oh, you guys, this smells so so delish. And here is yours with his cilantro. So good. You guys got to try it. I will put the recipe in the description. Tomorrow. All right, you guys, bear with me right now. It's the next day. Bruno is very much aware that we just got two grandmas. You want to go see grandma and cha cha? So um, I went to the gym this morning and now I'm at my mom's. So I didn't tell you guys, but we moved my mom to a different apartment in her same building the other day. And it was a, <laughs> it was a lot, it was a little chaotic. I love my mother, but she did not prepare whatsoever. It's all right, we got it moved. Um, so I'm coming back today just to help her do a little bit of like unpacking and settling in, so figured the dogs could play while we unpack. Are you excited? You excited to see Grandma? He's actually really good in the elevator, aren't you? All right, let's go show my mom's new apartment. <gasps> Is that Grandma? Grandma! And cha, -cha! Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I love when you do that, Chachi. She's got a beautiful new kitchen. Gorgeous, and I love this little island thing she has. I'm gonna like arrange her furniture. I'm trying to go slow because I don't want to make anyone 
dizzy. It's easier to vlog on the phone for not making people dizzy because it's very stable. But I do have my gimbal on today because I don't want to make y'all dizzy. And here's mom's bedroom. She's up a little higher, so it's a lot brighter and a little bit bigger. And she's got two bathrooms now, which is fun. Our first mission is the organization of the bathroom. Yes, I have that little black cabinet with the colored drawers right here. There's no linen closet, so we need space for towels and toilet. Paper. Also, mom, everyone thinks you look amazing. They love your hair. They just think you look great. People, I love you. <laughs> Say more. <laughs> yes. Am I ready for my... M A N. And then these two are literally just wrestling. <laughs> Guys are having so much fun. Yes, with the TV girl. Here, I'm gonna show you the picture I'm gonna put in here. Okay. I think I'm gonna keep it simple, not too much stuff. Um, oh, look at. So I'm gonna leave plain because it's so clean and pristine. Look at mom's super cute retro bathroom. It's retro, and I even love the retro fan. I'm actually probably not gonna turn it on because then it will get all dusty and yucky. Mm. So let's just leave it like that, and I'll polish it. It's for it decoration. Up. So look at how pretty. So at first I was concerned, right? I, I'm like, oh my god, this bathroom is from 1960. But then I'm like, you know what? It's kind of cool, and if I like get something with this color scheme. It'll look nice, and this may be light blue technically, but Robin's light blue is my favorite color, so I'm going to bring that into it. And look at this picture. It's perfect for it, right? You've had that forever, and it's forever. perfect. It reminds me of the North End, right? Like back in the day where they hung the laundry outside, you have the vendor there selling the fruits and vegetables. I'm going to put it oh, right here. Oh, I love it. You can see it in the mirror. It's gorgeous, right? Oh, it's so cute. And look at her fun shower. I love the shower. Go ahead. Go you just step in. into it. Isn't it fun? I don't know. This is all just very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> in a good way. Yeah. Have you seen in the news at all the YouTuber? Something Frankie. Ruby Frankie. She's a horrible person. Oh my god, I've been following it like crazy. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Oh my god, the, did you listen to the 911 phone call? Yes, yeah, so the guy cried. Oh my god, my heart yeah. broke. I started crying yeah. when I listened to that. Horrible. Disgusting. Oh my god, you have to come show the camera. Look at Chacha in the little bag. Look at little Chacha go. Chachi go. <laughs> this thing's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Why? I just keep finding it? more little like cracks in the wood. Oh. As as I, I put way too much stress on it, too much weight. As long as you never move it. Fun little update. I wish we had filmed it. <laughs> we were moving this in and it fell apart. These two parts totally detached, but we put it back. Hey! Ooh, you got a toy? <laughs> That's Where'd it. you do it? Yes. Want me to throw it? Toy. Want me to I throw it for you? Oh, 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 oh. Come on! Go get it! Yay, Chachi! Okay, you guys, I am back home. I am going to throw dinner in the crock pot and just set it and forget it until we have dinner later. I'm gonna do barbecue pulled chicken and I just love a crock pot meal. I love it. And it's finally cooling down. I'm waiting for my last Amazon package to come in. Then we can decorate for fall. But we made really good progress on my mom's apartment today. We got all of her furniture really where it needed to go. It's a lot of just like slow stuff. You know, she got her kitchen unpacked. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot left to do hanging her pictures, kind of like organizing, you know, that miscellaneous stuff like paperwork and all that jazz. But good progress. She loves her apartment. So I am glad. Um, it's a long story why she ended up moving apartments, but... <laughs> all is well. I am so thrilled that the forecast is all crispy coming up. I think I'm going to decorate for fall tomorrow actually because it's going to be um, in the 60s. Today was in the 70s but tomorrow is in the 60s so I want to get my Starbucks drink. I want to treat myself and just really like enjoy it. Okay so I am out of crock pot baggies so I gave it a good spray with olive oil first. So in here I just put like maybe a cup or two of barbecue sauce then i did a splash of worcestershire and uh, maybe a tablespoon of brown sugar i'm just gonna like really coat these and then i'm gonna cook it on high for three to four hours because normally i would do it low and slow but um i forgot to put them in this morning so 
super easy and delicious. Many hours later. Okay, I thought we had buns and we don't, so I'm running to Whole Foods really quick and I couldn't resist this pumpkin for $1.99. So I'm also just gonna grab a few other groceries while I'm here. Okay, hold the phone. Rayo's has ketchup and truffle one. <gasps> That sounds so good. Here's all the pumpkin stuff. I am really fighting the urge to get some apple cider and we still haven't tried those yet. We need cream cheese. I've never tried Dave's bagels, Dave's bagels, Dave's bread as buns. I wonder if they're good. Should we try them? Cause I need buns for our sandwiches. These are the ones I normally get. Those have six grams of protein too. That awkward moment when it was $1.99 per pound. Oh my God, did I walk by the car? Where did I park? I took Yarman's car, not mine, and I couldn't find it. <laughs> I can't remember if I finished my thought, but these said $1.99. There was no word that said per pound. And I was in the self-checkout line and too anxious to ask for someone to take it off. So say hello to my $6.78 mini pumpkin. <laughs> oh well, since I'm gonna decorate tomorrow in the next vlog, it felt fitting. So here's what else I grabbed, just a few groceries. Peanut butter, we use a lot of peanut butter in like smoothies or um, with banana. Yara needed brown sugar for coffee. Did you eat your supper? Sometimes I love snacking on peanuts. We ran out, the whipped cream cheese, as you saw, and then carrots. I'm glad they had a bigger bag. That's why sometimes you gotta go poo poo. That's why sometimes it's good to go in the store because you actually see like what they have. Go poo poo. Um, Cause usually I get like these smaller bags when I order on the app and it's never quite enough. So I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my carrot fries in the air fryer. So good. Cause like if I can sneak in a veg, somehow, some way, I'm going to, and they taste delicious. You don't have to poo-poo? Go outside and go poo-poo? You were at the door, go in, go poo-poo. Okay, if you say so. So I'll show you guys how I make those. Then just bananas and what else is new? My man's oranges. One eternity later. All right, you guys, I just cut up all the carrots. I washed them, peeled them. It's definitely a bit time consuming, but totally worth it because it's delicious. They do shrink and shrivel quite a bit. So um, this is definitely too much, but we can always <laughs> reheat them um, in the air fryer tomorrow. The small bag was too small and this large one is huge. I probably just shouldn't have done all of them, but. Anyway, here's how I do it. So I might have to do this in batches. So I take this, this is avocado and olive oil blended together. It's gonna do a little drizzle on top and then we're gonna season and just mix it together with our hands. All right, so I just did salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic powder, my usual concoction. And we're just gonna massage it so the seasoning is on all the carrots evenly. And then I kind of just watch them in the air fryer, shake them every few minutes on 350 and kind of just watch them until I think they look done. Okay, so I'm cooking about half of what I cut up, but I'm gonna store the rest with a damp paper towel. And then when we have leftovers tomorrow for lunch, I'll make these, so it worked out. And then there's this guy. Wow, look at you, so handsome. All right, you guys, I shredded the chicken and I added some salt and pepper, so good. I am gonna put some pickled jalapenos on mine, of course, and then American cheese. Let's check on the fries. They look great and they smell so good. You guys, morning show season three. <laughs> so excited. Okay, you guys, I am importing my footage now. And we had dinner, delicious. Um, we watched the first episode of The Morning Show. So happy it's back. We love that show. We have a few episodes left of Lincoln Lawyer and I'm gonna be so sad when it's over. I don't know why, I just like, I'm loving, loving that show. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here and I'm so excited for the next vlog. We're gonna decorate for fall and we're just gonna have like such a fun day. I'm gonna link my air fryer and the little air fryer inserts they just like pop in the dishwasher it makes cleanup so easy in the air fryer and i love the way our air fryer looks on the counter it's just so pretty and it's really affordable so i will link that but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i love you and i will see you again in a couple days bye